Yo, what is going on guys? Coming to you with the ultimate guide to zombies in Spaceland. You already know, I plan on uploading this video a few days back, but I um, had voiceover problems on Upload Studio. I figured out the uh, way to fix that. I have a video on the channel. If you want to check it out, you're having the same problem. Works every time for me. I don't know. Should work every time for you. If it's working every time for me, I don't know what's different with your Xbox, but... Coming to you with... Uh, Zombies on Spaceland. This guy's gonna give you all the tips on how to successfully play this map. Let's get it going. Right after you, right after you spawn on it, you want to go over here and pick up this handgun. This handgun is your best friend. That thing is a great gun. Let me tell you what. If you're looking to get the most points possible, you can shoot him five times and punch him, slap him, do whatever you got first. And um, I'll give you the most XP if you want the most XP. First thing to start off powers right in here. You're gonna want to turn that on. There's four power switches located around the map. I'll show you where all of them are. One uh, key thing to playing this map is having uh, good cards in your uh, devil or whoever that is. I don't know what it is, but um, you want to have some good cards in there. Me personally, I do not have the best cards this game since I just went in on it. I wasn't really planning on going too high. I eventually killed myself in the last video because I didn't want to make this guide too long. And I'm just going to be rushing through this to give you all the facts and information on how to play good on this map. I'm not going to be taking my time. Quick revive or revive yourself, whatever you want to call it in solo. A key to going extremely high when you're playing solo. If you have the ability to revive yourself and you don't have that, you are just making a mistake when you're playing. The second you get um, $750, what is needed to open up the first door, you want to buy it immediately. Because you like the faster you get across this map, faster you get Juggernaut, faster you get the box, the better. Because once the boss comes, or whoever that dude is is running around, it's, I don't think it's a boss, I don't know. The dude's extremely strong, and you don't want to have some bad weapons when that guy's following you. And right here I got over 750 and it is time to open up the map. There is one key thing that you want to do the second you open up this. You want to go right across down to a uh, candy cart located on the very opposite side of the map. You can look for the box too. Mine's over in the jug spot. You want to pick up this robot's head. And um, you want to go put it on the body. It's located right here in the middle of the map. And this robot it really helps you over the course of the, the times playing because it just gives you challenges I don't know uh, every single round it just gives you a lot of challenges like you see I just got a challenge up there it gives you tickets and you want tickets on this map because you can buy ammo buy some things out the the carts maybe buy the freeze gun if you want I don't know whatever you want to do with it it's better to have them than not to have them so challenges is a quick way to do it without having to go in the arcade and risking your life you know, kill this guy real quick. Always pick these up. You got some cash on the ground. You don't want to let those go. It's always nice to have a little extra cash helping you out. The more of the cash, the better. This is where the upgrader's at, right in the middle. I'll show you how to access that later on. You just got to go link uh, four of the portals, and I'll show them you everywhere and anywhere. I'll show you every place to find those. It'd be real quick. You can get the upgrader. Probably around round eight if you plan so oh too close right there, too close. You don't want that to happen. <laughs> oh man. But uh, I seem uh, to feel like this game's pretty good on like uh, zombie hits compared to the other games like black ops and all that. Sometimes you'd be getting hit once and like they double swing or something, you're dead. And that's too quick. Whenever you see the tokens on the ground, there's gonna be machines on the side, as you saw me just put one in there. It, once you put three in you get uh, traps or things to help you like a fireworks trap a boom box like a uh, wall barrier like electric whatever you just want it that's just the basics once you get enough donate over here or wherever the box is at you primarily want to go to the box first unless you can survive off wall guns to uh, get juggernaut because that's another key step you need juggernaut the lower the round the better on uh, this game I, I happen to buy the Volk because it all depends on where your box spot is where you want to um, get a wall gun or try to go for the box and your handgun will usually get you there 
unless it's in the very corner of the map as it is right now and it costs multiple doors to get through and a donation as well the only the spot that I have the box in right now is probably one of the worst spots that you could probably get the box starting off but um you can always deal with it, it doesn't set you any ba anything uh, back always in uh, the same spot keep going forward Got to chuck some grenades. You chuck some grenades, it gives you less points, but saves your ammo, and it's all about ammo. Because this handgun, it, it's a pretty steady gun up to round four, but after round four, it does not become your friend anymore. As we head down over here, I'm going to show you where the uh, the second power switch is. It's going to be located right here on the wall. You're going to want to flip that, turn the power on for half of the map in total. Got two more switches to flip. You'll see them throughout the video. Beat that guy up, get a carpenter. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. And, um... Yeah, you can see the box over there. Everyone knows that. If uh, you're new to zombies, the beam in the sky is uh, the box. Or the magic wheel in this map. I just bought the uh, the Volk. If you're looking for a good uh, wall gun on this map, the Volk's probably going to give you your best bang for your buck. 1500 it's a pretty good gun. You can last to about round 9, round 10 without any problems. And once you get these portals linked, you're going to want to jump through them so you can link uh, the middle part to the projector room where the upgrader is located. I have one of the other four portals working right now and I just gotta get three more and I can get an upgrade and they're actually they're a really quick way to escape if you ever need some like time to get out of there to reload you have the the boss coming after you or something like that just power that thing up jump right through you're safe you can go train to other parts of the map you can just disappear it'll take them a while to get to you it's a quick mode of escaping and I got souvenir coins gonna go find the machine they're located everywhere over the map no matter where you are on the map, you'll be able to find it. And pick up some ammo off the ground. You get some pretty nice drops on the ground in here. It's like some cash, some ammo, sometimes some different grenades. The boss in the Zombies on Spaceland just turned in my token are uh, clowns. The thing about these clowns is they're not too good. You can kill them with about two bullets, but, um,. The thing is, you want to stay away from them because they explode when they uh, get on top of you and you do not want a clown exploding on you without Juggernaut. With Juggernaut, you could take like 3-4 hits. I take 3-4 hits later on in the video, maybe in the second one, I'm not quite sure. But um, without Jug, they can really take you down pretty quick. And uh, as always, the uh, I don't even know what round you call this, like dogs, clowns, whatever that round's called. You always get max ammo. That's always nice. You always need some ammo. You can't go wrong with some ammo. So you see, round six. I'm gonna probably uh, try to buy jug this round because uh, it's a good idea to get jug by round six. The guys start coming at you more, and uh, that two hit it just doesn't cut it. Two three hits. I don't know what the hit, uh, how many hits it takes to go down, but it is not enough. And if you're trying to train or you're just trying to go around the map, you're not gonna have a good time. Let's go light these guys up. Come on, let's get it. Okay, as you can see, I'm getting closer up to uh, my jug. 2,500. And you see the fortune teller in the corner, the devil or whoever that is. You can pay 5,000 to uh, get your cards back while in the game. Because once you use your cards, they disappear. And if you really want one back, you can just go use that. It's the same as uh, upgrading your gun. And uh, you can get one of those. It's really handy if uh, you have some good cards. I come back here and purchase a jug. It's called Tough Nuff. It's on the wall, 2,500, right back in the corner. Light this guy up. Uh, let's get it. And coming on down here. And uh, this is gonna bring the uh, the first video to a close. I wanted to space these out into uh, three videos because I had overall around 40 minutes of uh, playtime, and I didn't want to have you guys go through the waiting process of loading a 40 minute video and I personally did not want to upload a video that size it would take quite a while I believe doing multiple videos is quite good I'll put a link in the description you can just go down there and click on it 
quick access to the second video with all the other tips and tricks you need to finish off this map. I will catch you in the next video, guys.